Hello and welcome to a special episode of the SciShow Talk Show, and it's special for no other reason than Mike Michael LaRonda is here. Ah! Yeah. We just put in some fake applause there. Right. So here in the SciShow Talk Show, we talk and it's SciShow. That's how it works. And uh, today, Michael has... Are you going to try to stump me? I have a stumpy question for you. Do you have anything besides a stumpy question? No. So we're just going... I'm going to attempt to be not stumped. And then we're going to see an animal. Mm -hmm. So you're ready now. You know it's you know it's coming. Do your thing. So this should be um, relevant to everybody who sits in front of their computer for hours on end. Um, why is it that if sitting up straight is the good, natural, healthy way to sit, why does slouching feel so good? I am definitely a sloucher, Emily who Michael works with on the Brain Scoop, um, she has amazing posture. And I like, I'll look at her and I'll be like, something's weird about you. <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh, it's that you're sitting up straight. Alex Day also has like yeah, perfect posture. Yeah, Alex is always, He's, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm like, is that, it's like, it feels <laughs> like in this ultra slouchy culture, almost like an affectation because that's not what we do. Yeah. We're like, this is how I watch movies. Like, as the time goes on, it is lower. <laughs> this is weird because we're like <laughs> thrusting our crotches into oh, each stuck. other. Stuck. Good. I'm glad that's on video. <laughs> um, I mean, it's because, like, to, to me, sitting up straight is, an, is active. And slouching, I'm resting on, like, my ligaments and bones and the connections between all of it. And that's, it's an, it's a, there's no, I'm not exerting any energy to be in that position. I, I also like, I have a problem where I get closer and closer to the screen that I'm watching. And so I have this like terrible forward neck and I try to fight it. And whenever I like put my neck back, it's like, I can hear it in my ears. Um, so that's my answer. I think it's because it's a less, it's a less active you're, position you're to sit in. Pretty. Close there. Okay. Um, naturally, you, your your spine is held up by the ligaments that go mm -hmm. down your your spine. It's a uh, it's an amazing interwoven web of connections. So I will be I will be amazed sometime at I will be experiencing a pain somewhere, and then I will realize that that pain has nothing to do with the place that I'm experiencing the pain. And it actually is I have a limp because I have arthritis in my foot, and so I will like get neck pain because of my foot. That's strange. And I'm like. God dang it, I should not have broken that toe in seventh grade. My whole life is just ruined <laughs> by one pool party. Tom. There's a guy named Tom. I pushed him in the pool and I broke my toe on his foot. <laughs> it's all his fault. That's so, why um, uh, So now continue. Uh, naturally, our, our ligaments are meant to hold us up in the mm -hmm. upright position. Mm -hmm. When you slouch, you stretch out the ligaments over time. So someone who's a chronic sloucher, you're, you're, you're stretching those ligaments out, mm. uh, which means to sit up, you have to rely more on the muscles in your back than is natural. So it feels more active, like you said. Uh, you have to be engaging those muscles to stay, to stay upright. Um, and it just feels like you're more relaxed when you don't mm -hmm. use those muscles and you're just resting on wherever your ligaments are holding your back up. So is that like in the, in the history of humankind, was there a period when slouching was less common or less, we were less able to slouch or we... As know? far as I understand it, the, the human spine is not all that wonderfully designed for mm -hmm. the way that we walk, because we're bipedal, right. but we weren't always bipedal. Right, we've, it's a, we've, it's a we've recent evolution. rotated upward, yeah. and so uh, the human spine is, is not as robust as theoretically it could be given another few million years of evolution. So you're saying <clears throat> that I'm slouching because, in a sense, my ancestors were more hunched because they were quadrupedal. I don't know. I I'm think saying you're slouching because I think he, you're I slouching. Think, I think that the argument could cycle. be made. It's also <laughs> that I'm slouching because I'm slouching, but be, but our but our spines aren't particularly well designed because we are such a it's such a recent mm -hmm. evolutionary innovation, and so we slouch because <laughs> we are only recently bipedal. The there is good news though. Uh, your ligaments will. Uh, 
No, they won't. They will. If it takes longer, if if, if you if you. But I won't. Right. But if you <laughs> if if you at home <laughs> would like to improve your posture, your ligaments will shorten over time. It takes much longer for that to happen than for them to lengthen. So you have to be really proactive about sitting up straight, and over time, your your posture will improve. It hurts already. <laughs> Well, thank you for that fascinating bit of insight into my body. <laughs> I am now, now I know to not be disappointed in, in the body, but, also, but just in myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for an animal. You're ready for an animal? You know, so, what you, you know what you're going to see? I don't know. You don't know? Could, is there still time to pick? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I think it's just going to show up. Maybe there'll be, maybe there'll be time to pick. Whatever, I'm ready. It's just going to show up. I'm ready. Let's see. Yeah. This is Jessie from Animal Wonders, and she has brought for us a very unique treat. Treat, oh. is it? It's a treat. It's a treat? Yes. It's, yes. I think of treat as like, t these I, are tasty treats. Mm. I feel like I'm being treated right now. I hope you don't want to <laughs> eat him. I don't. That's why I'm saying I... Let's continue with the, uh, the SciShow talk show. <laughs> Sounds good. This is Leonard. Leonard, I want you to guess what Leonard is. What kind of animal does he look like? I have been told that Leonard is not a snake. He's not a so snake. He I've sure been, looks like I've one. Been pre, pre informed. <laughs> yes. He looks like a snake, and uh, that's kind of a misnomer. A lot of people think any animal without legs, you know, that's a reptile, reptile, is a snake. And that's not true. This is actually a lizard, it's a legless lizard. I mean, I can tell that it looks different from a snake. It's a yeah. little shorter, it has different sort of quality. Well, of, of skin, um, the facial structure is very different. Yeah. And it also has this very interesting muscle contraction going on along the side of its body, and yeah. I want to know what that is. I also right. felt like w the few times I saw him stick his tongue out, it looked different than I've seen uh, snake yeah. tongues. Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's talk about all those things. <laughs> let's talk about that face first, you know, only a face a mother could love. Um, I don't know, I think he's handsome. He's pretty neat. He's got a kind of a he's dragon kind of, face. Yeah, a little dragon scowl. Face. Totally got a dragon face. Yeah, well that's going to be the biggest indicator of why he's not a snake. Um, you could, there's two things that he has on him that snakes do not have. Ears? Ears, yes. Ah. An external hole for the ear. Now snakes mm -hmm. do have ears, it's just covered by skin. It's a different kind of ear. But he does have those tiny little holes the very back of his mouth there. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, do you know the difference? The other one? I, well, I was seeing, and I felt like the cloaca was much further up the body. Well, that is true. Let's, let's stick with the head, and then we'll move back to the, the, okay. the rest of the body. The head. the head. On its head, its eyes are different. So a snake does not have eyelids. Oh. They can never close their eyes. They have an actual spectacle over their, their mm -hmm. eye, uh, um, what do you say, yeah. a scale over it. These guys have actual eyelids. So lizards have eyelids and external ears. And that, yeah, that, the eyelid, I feel ears. like, gives them a little more personality, makes them a little... There's something a little more inhuman about a snake. Yeah. Because it doesn't have those eyelids. It's that stare and they don't have yeah. you know, as much expression. Yeah. 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 He's got eyelids and he's got those ears. So then let's travel on back his body. This neat muscle contraction you were talking about there. Not the movement, the, that line he's got going on down yeah. there. So snakes are really neat. They can expand their body to eat. Mm -hmm. Now this guy can't do the same type of just expanding to eat something huge. He can only fit the size of his mouth. He can only open his okay. mouth and fit something to eat. Mm -hmm. And he's going to eat insects and other really tiny things like uh, baby mice and stuff like that. But when it gets back to his belly, he wants to be able to eat as much as he can mm -hmm. in the eating. So that, that line down his belly here is going to help him expand. And then you're right, his cloaca. Can you see where it starts? Yeah, it's like not even halfway down. Yeah, right there yeah. is his cloaca. Mm -hmm. And on a snake, it would probably be closer to over here. But yeah, more than half his body, about two-thirds of his body is made up of tail. Mm -hmm. And that is, he's called a legless lizard. He's also known as a glass lizard. Right. And so he has this neat moving ability. He will roll. Let's see if, it, oh, he'll do it. Yeah, he kind of did it on his own there. Um, if he's grabbed by a predator, say, most likely by his tail, because that's the main part of his, his whole of makeup. His body, yeah. yeah. We grab by his tail here, he'll do that rolling movement, we call it an alligator roll, and it will break off his tail into actually several different pieces. People say it looks like shattering glass. Wow. Then all of those pieces will move around. You know, the predator is completely confused. One animal turned into 
five. And Moving he's around as in like still doing muscle contractions? Yeah, 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 flipping around on the ground. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Oh. See that neat movement? Yeah. That's something that you don't, I've never seen a snake do. No, do they don't really do that. He does that. That's his, his kind of his And I feel like he's move. harder. I don't know if that's just. He's not as flexible. Yep. Right. He can't move like a snake does. He has a, a harder body, not as flexible body. And mm -hmm. you were talking about his tongue. Yeah, that tongue there, it's not, it is forked just a tiny bit, like little nubbins instead yeah. of, say, fingers like this. Mm -hmm. It's like this. He's also making a noise. He's, he's hissing a little bit, yep, yep. He's saying, hey, you know, I want to get down into my little burrow. Yeah. Not in these bright lights on a table here. <laughs> That's his thing. This is a very cool animal. Thank you a lot for sharing him with us. Yes, thank you for having us. Say thanks, Leonard. Bye. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the SciShow Talk Show. Thanks to Animal Wonders for bringing in the animals and from Michael Aranda for being himself. Goodbye.